Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm a senior at CSUN. My major is film production with an emphasis on editing and my minor is photography. So since we last spoke in May, I actually moved from my old apartment to a new place, which is still pretty close to school. And as for coping with lockdown, I'm doing pretty well actually. Because as an editor, I have a lot of experiences of just staying in my own room and entertaining myself. So overall, I'm doing fine. I'm from Canton, a city in southern China, which is pretty close to Hong Kong, just for your reference. So my family in China is doing quite well. They are actually planning to go traveling at the end of this month. Uh, my mom told me that the city is already open in a way, and there are traffics and the metros are open and people will get on buses to go to places. So basically, it's almost back to normal. So I've been actually thinking about going back to China at the end of this year when the semester is over because apparently the situation <laughs> there is much better than here but um, I'll be pretty cautious and I'll keep up with the latest update and if I feel like it's not the safest time to travel then I will probably won't go back. This is my second last semester and hopefully I can graduate next spring which is in 2021. For this semester, I'm taking three theory classes and two more practical classes. And for the three theory classes, um, they're completely online. As for the other two classes, they uh, adapt a hybrid model. And I supposed to go back to campus for the two hybrid classes, but as for now, uh, I'm still not allowed to be on campus. But I look forward to going to campus uh, hopefully next month. One of the classes I'm taking this semester is History of Photography and this is an asynchronous class which means we won't be meeting our instructors online on a weekly basis which means the only ways we'll use to communicate is either through email or through Canvas and how this class is set up is we basically have this textbook and then we'll read it and each week we'll have a couple of quizzes and assignments and usually they're due Monday and Thursday. So um, it's a good way to help you keep track of, you know, what you need to do and when, when something is due. It's been three weeks since this semester has started and it's been a unique experience so far, not just for me, also for everyone who's watching this video right now. And overall, I'm adapting to online classes pretty well. One of the reasons is that I'm a rather shy person. <laughs> With the online class, I can be pretty comfortable just in my own room while listening to the professors talking to us. For me, one of the biggest challenges of online classes is the distractions I could see around me. Since I'm in my room and I could hit that mute and you know no camera button so I could literally be doing something else instead of uh, listening to class. Not saying that I'm doing that but it's a potential that I can be distracted so that's the biggest challenge. One thing I like to see the most is when people bring their pets into the frames. Please, if you're watching this, keep doing this. Thank you. As for the three theory classes, I don't think the format of online teaching is affecting them too much so I'm still learning a lot in my opinion however, it should be more practical which means we should be in the studios um, familiarizing ourselves with the equipment or how to work with other people and on that aspect, I think the tuition money is not well spent I think I should be able to access to more of the resources provided by the school, but um, this coronavirus has definitely taken the chance away from us, but hopefully we'll be able to get back to normal soon. Two days later. Unfortunately, a few days ago, I received this email from a president saying that next semester will still be primarily online. However, I'm hoping that the vaccine that's coming out at the end of this year will restore what we used to have on campus. So I'm hopeful that we'll go back to campus next semester. But quoting from Dr. Vouchy's words, we shouldn't be looking at the rosy side of things at this moment, but do not give up. There's always hope. 